You may now begin your presentation. Heritage in Actress is a community of student, academic, and business leaders who are committed to using the power of entrepreneurial action to improve the quality of life and standard of living for people in need. Students create and carry out dozens of projects that train low-income individuals at home and abroad how to become successful entrepreneurs. These projects require the hard work and dedication of many to ensure meaningful and long-lasting positive effects. During the spring, Heritage Enactus chooses a team of students to deliver a presentation highlighting the impact and success of three projects. This team will represent Heritage at both the regional and national levels as part of high energy and high stakes Enactus United States competitions. They'll compete against hundreds of teams from colleges and universities across the country. We're very busy right now inviting students to come and try out for the presentation team. That's one of the big events that we have during the year. I am very happy to be part of um, the presentation tryouts, but I'm also a little bit nervous about it. It takes a lot for a person to be part of the presentation team. I know with practice, I can be there. I'm a bit nervous. I am also thinking about how much I want this. For them, it's a stressful time as well. They have to learn a piece and they have to think about how they're going to be evaluated. They have quite a heritage to follow. We have been one of the top eight or ten teams in the country for the last 10 or 12 years. I felt nervous, of course. I haven't tried out for a while. How do you think you did? I think I did great. I'm so excited. I memorized all my lines, I didn't mess up, and I used really good hand gestures. This is my first year trying out, so I do give myself props for getting through that whole thing without crying. <laughs> I think that I did fairly well. Um, I'm hoping I get selected. I'm actually nervous. I guess there's something that's always nerve-wracking about going in and trying to memorize and say something. I know that this is a really great opportunity and it's something that I've wanted to do before. But... Then the day everyone was waiting for finally arrives. The email announcing the presentation team. I was actually at work when I got this email. Oh, I got really excited. What actually happened when I was on the plane on my way to New York for spring break and Suzette was actually sitting in the row in front of me. Looking through my emails, I was reading them and happened to come across that one where it told us that we had made the presentation team. And I remember reading it and being like really excited. Um, I turned around and I told Natalie. And she asked me her phone and I read the email and I saw my name. And I accidentally yelled. I was like, oh my gosh. And the people next to me all turned. <laughs> um, we had a staff meeting. And as, I so as soon as I received the email, I jumped from my seat and I was like, oh my gosh, I made the presentation team. And so um, my coworkers were really happy for me. But I'm just making sure that all of my changes are the same as his changes. How many times will a script get changed before everybody's happy? Probably like five to six times. This is number four. <laughs> so one more time and we should be done. <laughs> Even as we're rehearsing, sometimes we have to like, it's too long, so we have to so let's see how Heritage uses teamwork to make dreams work. We're going to go through this and read through it. For those of you that weren't part of this before, 
we jump around. And I'll just point at somebody and, and then you quickly respond. I'm feeling pretty positive. I like the fact that we're finally getting our lines so now we know what we're gonna have to memorize. I watch the videos of the previous years and I just try to put myself in that experience and to practice, I guess, just reading it over and over until I get it down. Time is ticking. Time for us to compete regionally. Right now we're trying to get those lines memorized. We're a little behind schedule. Dreams. What are they? Why are they important? How do they come about? So this session of our practice, I think it's more so learning your cue of when to go, uh, paying attention to who goes before you, who's going after you, um, getting your enthusiasm in each line. I am the one that has to motivate and keep the level and the intensity up here and kind of keep the team excited. By the end of the week, we're all going to be smiling, engaging, enthusiastic, not yawning. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing how we do this weekend and memorizing our lines um, and hopefully that we remain focused because we have literally three weeks in order to get this down. Dreams! What are they? Why are they important? How do they come about? What can we do to make them happen? What will come back to dreams? Lack of vision? Lack of opportunity? Lack of experience? Creating opportunities. Creating visions. Creating experiences. This is what Heritage Enactus is all about. Teamwork makes dreams work. We are Heritage Enactus. And we make dreams work. It's been crazy for sure because I've been waking up like around five in the morning and um, our schedule for practices has been changing a lot because people work and other stuff they have to do. It's definitely a lot of commitment. The presentation team also includes Javier Marine Jr. and Alden Andy. Their job is to provide visuals that sync with the words delivered by the presenters. Uh, my role is to create a, a presentation that is appealing, precise and on time. You got this, right? Yeah. We are heritage and actors. When we get there on Monday, we want people to fear us. And we want word to go to the nationals. Heritage is on it again. Everybody yeah. knows their lines, they're confident, they know what they're doing. We just need to enact our movements and our and our enthusiasm as we're speaking out loud and practicing that now so that when we present, it just comes out natural. We're in sync. When it comes to game time, we're going to perform well. It's Heritage and Actors. We're great at what we do. And we're all wearing these Calvin Klein dresses, gold zipper, and we're all wearing um, the same heels and mine are right over here. Team's did pretty good too, but we're confident in our team and we know we 
We did a good job. We're gonna win and we're gonna get first place in our league. Because we just did an awesome job. The adrenaline was just really out there and we did really well. Once again, Heritage has shown the quality of the work that they do, the efforts that they put in. We don't have the official results yet, but I'm pretty sure that we're qualified to go to the Nationals. Heritage University Regional Champion. Woo! I think that was really validating for a lot of us, that the hard work had paid off, that we were really um, successful and that we had a really good shot at nationals. A few weeks after regionals, the presentation team delivers an on-campus performance to students, faculty, staff, and supporters to much praise and applause. Three, what are they? Walking, how carriage, teamwork, and maybe three, more quality market value program. One or two, four, three, 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 Globally now, going to Panama, the amount of work that they can do on top of school and taking care of their own lives and work and everything else is just amazing. Teamwork makes dreams work. We, we are Heritage Athletes and we make dreams work. <laughs> Everybody just shine and we still connected. We have that confidence to do so well and that's exactly what we did right now. Last practice before the trip. How is everybody feeling tonight? Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry and thirsty. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Tired, sleepy. <laughs> we're excited though, we're confident, we're where we want to be, our speed is where we want it to be. We're just amazing. What are we going to do in St. Louis? Kick some ass. We're going to soar. We're going to soar. <laughs> we're going to kill. Because we're prepared. <laughs> We were walking around earlier and we came in the building and there was a lot of other teams. We saw Penn State and a lot of other schools, so it's just pretty exciting to see all the teams and know that we're going to compete tomorrow, so I'm ready. Among those in the audience cheering on Heritage and Actus is Heritage President John Bassett and his wife Kay Bassett. They've watched the team compete at Nationals several times, and this year is no different. Most of these students I've known since they were freshmen, and to see the uh, transformation of so many of them into these uh, very mature, poised, articulate, smart uh, young people going on to great careers is, is so rewarding. You know, tonight we'll make sure we have the script on point and we're on point with everything, so it's going to be great. Night before competition, Javier's still making changes. Dedication, son. dream come true to get this far. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty awesome. I mean, we, this is what we work for all year long, and you know, we work hard. Next is week 17. The following team should come quickly to the stage. Southeast Community College, Cornerstone University, and Heritage University. Your semi-finalist is the team Coming here and receiving that amount of respect that just everyone else receives here 
it made me realize it's not about as much as where you come from, but what you bring to the table, and we definitely bring it. It's very inspirational to know that we are just like anyone else, if not better. And advancing to the final round of competition, congratulations to the team from Heritage University! <laughs> You may now begin your presentation. Dreams! What are they? Why are they important? How do they come about? What can we do to make them happen? What holds us back from dreams? Lack of vision? Lack of opportunity? Lack of experience? Creating opportunity. Creating visions. Creating experiences. This is what Heritage Enactus is all about. Teamwork makes dreams work. We are Heritage Enactus. And we make dreams work! Hello, my name is Suzette Teodoro, a senior majoring in psychology. Good afternoon, my name is Nicole Lopez, a junior majoring in business administration. My name is Fidencio Nicolás, a senior majoring in business administration. I am Natalie Alvarez, a senior majoring in psychology. Hello, my name is Jimena Prieto, a senior majoring in business administration. My name is Zia Larasabi, a senior majoring in business administration. And I am Alejandra Haro, a junior majoring in business administration. And we create dreams. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Do you have minty fresh breath? Craft beers are revolutionizing the market. Having a red at the end of your day? Our valley is a world leader in the production of mint, hops, apples, and cherries, not to mention the second leading producer of quality wines. These products make our lives better, but they mask unpleasant realities. We're near the bottom of all large counties on average weekly wages in the U.S. More than 20% of our households subsist below the poverty level. A large percentage of monolingual immigrant families have arrived to work in our agriculture. With poverty comes crime. Gang violence is 56% higher than the national average. And according to consumer credit counselors of Yakima, there is a 90% rate of financial illiteracy. So, let's see how Heritage uses teamwork to make dreams work. We know that working in isolation is not great for best results. We need to rely on each other to create visions, focus on opportunities, and develop experiences that can make dreams work. Our mission is to impart these skills, focus on the important concept of teamwork and its power to the communities with which we are involved. Four years ago, we had our first camp seed targeting at-risk middle school students in our valley. Our camp is designed to awaken lost dreams and show them a brighter future. Camp SEED stands for social, economic, and environmental development. Yakima County has the highest number of schools that do not meet the minimum standards of testing for academic accomplishments. This lack of academic success leads to high school dropout rates. To create an impact, we knew we had to implement a positive intervention. Thus, Camp SEED was born. It was so successful that the first year we were encouraged to double its size. Our two-week summer camp expanded from serving 35 students to 120 students over the two camp sessions. We now draw students from Toppenish, Wapato, White Swan, Zilla, Granger, Mapton, and the Yakima Nation Tribal School. Financial supporters have stepped up to help us meet the challenge of doubling the number of at-risk middle school campers served. The Washington State Department of Financial Institution, Mondelez International, Northwest Farm Credit Service, and KeyBank have helped us increase our budget from $35,000 to $70,000. So, how did these students with so much potential create new dreams? The key issue we faced was that these students did not believe their dreams could become a reality. They saw few opportunities for themselves. As a result, students were failing and dropping out of school. We wanted them to create new visions for themselves. Thus, we needed to keep the camp fun by providing useful targeted experiences 
It had to be non-judgmental so they could be free to explore new possibilities. We were fighting against the call of gang initiatives. Our campers had to see the plethora of viable, exciting career possibilities that await them and the career path to getting there. More importantly, they needed to see that by working together, the impossible was achievable. We exposed them to career pathways in science, healthcare, technology, engineering, entrepreneurship, and business. They became aware of the number of exciting career possibilities they could pursue. They needed to see the relevance that math, science, and language arts would have in creating possibilities for them. Dreams, visions, really? Well, our focus was on two key areas, business and STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. As we more than doubled the number of campers, we were challenged to ensure how to give each camper a meaningful experience. We more than doubled the number of counselors, who of course come from our Enactus members. They were enthusiastic mentors to the campers, as well as positive role models. In accordance with the financial literacy portion of our Onactus camp, mentors implemented our legacy project, Mini Entrepreneurs. The objective of this program was to give students a real entrepreneurial experience. Over the course of the two weeks, we introduced them to budgeting and proceeded to business basics. We began with the introduction of the four Ps, product, place, price, and promotion. Each group was asked to develop an item to sell and decide how their business would progress. Mentors discussed the roles in a business and demonstrated how each function is essential to the success of the business. A team approach was taken by assigning treasurers, marketing leaders, and researchers. The treasurer group was in charge of determining the startup costs of the business as well as creating a sales tracking form. The marketing team had the responsibility of ensuring that we promoted the product in order to have enough sales to produce profit. Lastly, the research team was in charge of conducting primary research that would determine what products would sell best? The Junior Achievement Biztown Citizen Guide Curriculum encompassed five-day lessons, often taking up two, three-hour sessions during the first half of the day. Through daily lessons, hands-on activity, and active participation, students were able to develop a strong understanding between the relationship of what they learn in school and their successful participation in their local economy. Dreams? Visions? You bet. The students now have a greater appreciation for the financial responsibility that their parents face and the requirements to successfully implement business activities. Is that all? Having each camper participate in a team that was challenged to start a real business instilled entrepreneurial skills. They were divided into four groups, each in charge with creating unique, viable, marketable products. The teams created organizational structures, developed business plans, and managed finances loaned to them by Heritage and Actus. By the end of the camp, each group has successfully created businesses. Okay, but what are some concrete manifestations of this work? By working in teams, eight small business projects were successfully developed and generated enough profit for a middle school student to start a savings account at Bank of America. For the first session, LTC, Kabloom, and Los Refrescantes generated a total profit of $1,685. Each student took home $25. July session consisted of Berrylicious, String It Up, TMT, and Talk About It, who generated more than $25 to each student. Most campers pay to go. Our campers take home money. But what is the evidence of all this work? Hi, my name is Noah Lopez. I've been camp for four years. Used to have bad grades. Wanted to drop out in seventh grade. Um, camp seed really changed me, honestly. Um, got into sports. Picked up my grades. Um, you know, pulled myself together. Now I'm actually on track to graduate. You know, my sister helped me. My family. Um, it's just an awesome experience going to like, Camp Seed. Yeah, just, you know, I hope more kids go this year than last year. It was pretty fun. We have conducted pre and post tests to determine the learning that has taken place over the years, as well as pointing to areas we needed to adjust to. Evidence has shown that our graduating campers come back the following year as volunteers. What a change! So we are gratified that WR Camp to 120 participants was successful. We are now in the final stages of planning for next summer. All sponsors are back on board and we will again have two two-week sessions and enable another 120 at-risk middle school students to work towards their dreams. Our follow-up indicates that a significant amount of students have improved their academic performance in school this past year. They learned the power of working together and the power of activating resources. $25 to take home provides a lot of incentive. 
how do you create sustainable income in a community where many of the families work seasonally? We address this significant and troubling problem by expanding upon one of our unique community outreach projects, Pantry of Hope. Through Pantry of Hope, one of our keynote legacy projects, we have provided an average of 275 boxes filled with food and sundries for families in need over the holidays for over eight years. Every year, we would give food to these families in need, but we saw a larger problem. They had difficulty managing their scarce resources, so we implemented a financial resource management program. We taught them budget basics and introduced them to banking resources. They now have the tools to sustain and manage their resources over the tough winter months, but that was not enough. So we started our pilot program to help them become entrepreneurs, the individuals that would come to us in need of food, although incredibly grateful, talked increasingly about the difficulty of finding work during the winter time. Yakima's economy is mostly agricultural. The majority of jobs are seasonal noticing the need for sustainable income during the winter. Many fruit companies have a large percentage of apples that they throw away because they do not meet quality standards. Although one or two defects may qualify the fruit to be thrown away, we thought of an alternative use. Receiving the fruit at a discounted price, slicing them up, and dehydrating them, we worked to create an easy to run startup business to provide supplemental income by dehydrating fruit products. Months of research was conducted. We had multiple focus groups to gain a better understanding of which temperature, machine, and apple type produces the best product. Having the essentials of the project in place, individuals from Pantry of Hope underwent training. These individuals did not possess skills necessary to run a business, but to ensure the success and sustainability of this project, they learned how to use computers, keep track of finances, and build a business plan. Working with the Institute of Washington's Future, we conducted market research in the Seattle area. The research was very positive. Based off the information gathered, prices were set, vendors were solidified, production was started, and new entrepreneurs were ready to go. Hola, mi nombre es Elsa. Pues yo estoy, soy la que trabajo con las manzanas y yo sé que me está funcionando para comprar mis alimentos y pagar los biles que tengo que hacer. Y Y le doy gracias a, a los estudiantes de la universidad. While we are still in early days with this project, results appear to be very successful. Each batch of apples takes approximately 14 hours to fully dehydrate, producing 18 bags of apples, selling at $8 each. This equates to $144 a day for roughly three hours of labor. Given that each individual can make a batch every day, they could make over $1,000 a week. For many of these individuals, this amount of money equates to working roughly 40 hours in a warehouse, if they're lucky enough to get a job in a warehouse. While this project has tremendous potential, our focus now is on sustainability. Each family has been connected with local fruit packaging companies to be able to purchase cold apples at a highly discounted price. Again, Heritage Enactus, making dreams work. Known as the heart of the world, Panama is century located. Its canal facilitates trade and economic development. Panama is also rich in many natural resources. Panamanian coffee and cacao are highly valued nearly everywhere. It has one of the fastest growing economies in Latin America. However, within this booming economy and beauty lies a population of indigenous people called Nobe Bugle. These people occupy nearly 7% of the landmass and have a population of 250,000. The land they occupy is rich in natural resources and beauty, but According to the World Bank, nearly 95% of them fall below the poverty line. As in many parts of the world, the indigenous population has chosen to maintain traditional values and has been largely ignored by prevailing governments. We were contacted by a local benefactor whose interest is, is in providing economic tools to the Nobe Bublés to help enable and to take advantage of modern healthcare, education, and sanitation. The Nobes are interested in acquiring access to modern Western ways, but on their own terms. Their dreams may not always be compatible with Western notion, but because of the diverse background of our team, we are sensitive to the idea of helping others on their own terms. Initial discussions with the Nobe chiefs indicated that for generations they have been successful rice growers in the swamps of the Laguna de Chiriquí. We were made aware that while rice had been grown in mangroves, there was no modern way to process it. The traditional ways with a mortar and pestle, the grains were damaged, which decreased their marketability. We recognize that if the Nobes had access to modern technology, it could help them improve the yield, quality, and marketability of their rice, helping them generate income in ways that was not possible once before. 
a plan that would encompass their dreams and our skills was needed. The first step was to organize an operational team in the town of Tory that would bring together community members and make organizational structure a reality. While the people of Tory lacked economic resources, they did not lack enthusiasm and organizational capability. Before we knew it, a management team of over 70 families had been selected. We presented ideas on how we could work together and move forward. We explained to them the notion of a free market economy and how it works. Wow, were they excited? The need for the project was laid out. The benefits were identified. Land was set aside and a design was made for the facility. Research was conducted to identify what was necessary to become successful rice processors. Each of the participating families contributed trees from their lands to be turned into lumber. They saw the power of organization and articulating their dreams. By contributing resources, they saw they could create viable business entities. Here are some facts and figures. Nearly 1,000 hectares have been committed to this project. There will be a yield of 65 quintales or 6,500 pounds of clean rice per hectare. Given the wholesale price of Panama, this crop is valued at $1 million. Needless to say, it was so heartwarming for us to attend the inauguration of the building and the beginning of their dreams. Oh, and by the way, this dream has created more dreams. We are being sought after by other communities in the Nobe Buble area to help them become rice producers as well. We are looking forward to our trip in June where we will empower other communities to unleash the power of their untapped resources. Free market development will be taught. Rice production, ecotourism, and potable water are all on the agenda. So, let's summarize how Heritage Enactus has made dreams work this year. We taught over 1,000 third graders how to use money as a tool and how to budget through our Moon Jar project. We covered the Hispanic population of Washington State through our regular radio broadcast over three network stations. More than 600,000 impressions on how to cope with free market mechanisms. 275 families had a better winter because of our pantry of hope. They now have the tools to become financially aware and several are on their way to become entrepreneurs. 70 students are now more confident in preparing for their future by attending our Polisher Market Value Program. 120 at-risk middle school students now have the pathways to realizing their dreams. Now they know why they have to stay in school. So once again, we've created a legacy of continuous improvement. We've inspired people to create new dreams. We've given them the tools. We've shown them where the opportunities lie. Many in our community have had their dreams become reality. Heritage Enactus, making dreams a reality. This is what Heritage Enactus is all about. Creating opportunities, creating visions, experiences. Teamwork makes dreams work. We are Heritage Enactus, and we make dreams work. Thank you, Heritage University. Heritage isn't a huge school, you know? There's like 800 to 1,000 people on that campus. And then to come here, where there are so many people, the opportunity to present in front of thousands of people, it's profound. Assisting with a presentation of awards is Chairman of the Enactus United States Stepping forward in fourth place is the team from Heritage University. We had a heart set up going all the way, being number one. We didn't quite get there. That's why the other teams were very good. No. Take nothing away from anybody else. They all did a great job. We did a great job. Yeah. I'm sure that the decision was not easy to determine between the, the top four teams, but we were right in there. And we are going home with a medal. It's a great deal of pride. So. And in the final round, we were four schools, all of which, any one of which, could be the first place team. I thought we were the best. Having Heritage be in the final four of, with that group, you know, there's not much to match that. Very proud of them. I think it's a great honor and privilege because it is literally the storytelling of what we've accomplished this past year and all of the hard work we've put in to Enactus. This is the icing on the cake, right? This is the good part where you get to accept awards after all of the hard work. One of the uh, significant things about Heritage and Enactus 
is the fact that our students really care about the projects that they do. They're projects that they know will have benefit to their community. And the other thing that I, I truly believe uh, that's important is that they know that by doing these projects, they are going to be growing themselves, enhancing their own personal values and their own strengths and their own confidence. So I leave uh, it's a uh, bittersweet moment for me. One, uh, it was so pleasure to look forward to new activities in my life, but uh, that to leave the involvement and engagement that I've had with these wonderful young people over time, but I leave knowing that I've made many new friends and, uh, and I enjoy that very much. Presentations, how am I going to get through this? DREAMS! How <laughs> can you business activity? Is that all? Oh my goodness. <laughs> all the students there, so it should be pretty cool. Alright, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what? My name is. What? My name is. What? Chicka -chicka. Oh. <laughs> I have almost all no lines so memorized. Alright, cool. Do you see what you think we do? <laughs> Our heritage and that is we make dreams work. Of these, uh... I'm just here so I don't get fined. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs>